Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3 Minute Market Insight. Some fast facts to start your week. Oregon shrimp production is underway. Processors and fishermen were able to come to an agreement on grounds prices. Fishermen have agreed to accept a 5 cent per pound increase on their harvest, which may lead to finished product prices going up about 25 cents per pound or more. Alaskan halibut grounds prices have remained high this week. Many had expected it to come down by now, however, however only small volumes of halibut are being landed and market is accepting the pricing. The majority of the product landed is still 10 to 20 pounds. This week's pricing is being reported as follows, 10 20 6 dollars to 6 30, 20 40 6 25 to 6 55, 40 up 6 70 to 6 85. These are fresh prices. Some processors expect the overall reduction in the quota based on the International Pacific Halibut Commission recommendation will keep pricing high and perhaps create a shortage over the summer months. If you ask me, tell this to restaurants and they'll laugh at you. To follow up on our fast facts of last week on farmed Atlantic salmon, currently fresh Chilean D-trim Atlantic salmon fillets are in the high $3 range. Salmon farmers are preparing for prices to hit $275 to $3 by the middle of July. Let's head into Vietnam now. Vietnam continues to have financing challenges. It is expected that up to 1,000 factories in the seafood processing sector will close soon due to lack of financing. The Vietnamese government has released loans for real estate but not released any funds for seafood processing. It is uncertain whether financing will be given to all the seafood processing companies. Despite financial difficulties and poor market conditions, Vietnamese Pangaceous exports increased revenue by 15.2% in the first quarter of 2012. Some notable decreases are Europe down 12.8%, Germany down 35.3%. Some notable increases are United States up 47.9%, Mexico up 32.5%, Brazil up 27.9%, and China up an incredible 93.5%. Speaking of China, let's move on to China. A sluggish European market for cod portions and tails has started to affect the Pacific cod loin producers. Producers are having difficulty selling the portions and tails and portion and tail products normally produced concurrently with loins. Processors are reporting they are backed up on portions. Further, they are trying to slow their loin production while they aggressively seek sales for the surplus portions. Importers may begin to experience longer lead times, firmer pricing and less flexibility in size assortments on loins only. Lastly, a tool for buyers. As deceptive seafood processors, importers and exporters are constantly trying to find ways to cheat end consumers, it is important that buyers know who they are buying from. One tool that is publicly available is the list of FDA warning letters issued. Violators are sent a warning letters on a variety of offenses. The website where you can find warning letters issued by FDA is on the screen now. Take a moment to mark it down. It is another resource that can help consumers fight back against deceptive practices. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Robert Ryerson. Buy smart and eat more seafood.